So we're here with the Startup Hub, uh, and today's topic for discussion is the whole subject and important subjects of communications. I'm here with Louis Sinclair, who's Managing Director of Chime, uh, and delighted to be here, Louis, today talking about communications. Thank you, Tom. Before we go into the subject, do you just want to give people a bit of a perspective on Chime and what, uh, what they do in the world of communications? Yeah, Chime is um, uh, an organisation of 2,000 people. Uh, we're split into four divisions, sports marketing, advertising, research, um, and finally what we call the Chime Specialist Group, which is where I, um, where I work, um, working with, um, uh, in specialist sectors such as tech. And I'm the, 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 the guy within Chime who runs our tech practice. So communications, um, I mean, it means a lot of things to different people, but I guess um, both in the context of tech companies and startups, what do you mean when you talk about communications? I think um, communications is, uh, is about really understanding uh, the audiences you're trying to reach. Is it new customers? Is it different stakeholders? Is it existing customers? Or is it broader press or um, influencers on your market? And uh, communications is about trying to work out how to reach those in the most effective ways possible um, in order to uh, achieve a positive benefit for your company. And that, I mean, that sounds great and that sounds all right in kind of the Cisco world that I live in. But how is that kind of relevant in a startup world? Well, I think it's just as important for a startup to uh, be really, really good at communications as it is for a very, very large business. Um, it's a great opportunity, if you get your comms right as a startup, it's a great opportunity to appear bigger than you are. Um, it allows you to um, attract new people that you might want to work in the organisation. It allows you to, tra to attract more customers. Um, um, so it's just, it's just as important, it just needs to be done maybe in a slightly different way. But the principles are exactly the same. So Louis, what are, what are the core components of any communication strategy? Well, um, for a startup, I think the first thing you need to look at is what your business challenge is. Um, who are you trying to reach? Is it a reputation piece? Is it an awareness piece? Is it, could, could it be a crisis piece that you need to solve? And from there, you can really, really work out um, how you, the, the, the way in which your audience is driven. So what are their challenges? What keeps them up at night? Um, uh, and how you're going to reach them. And from there, you can really start to put the components in place for a communication strategy, whether that's PR in terms of raising awareness, um, whether that's digital and social for creating your own community, or whether that's demand gen, which is around building pipeline. So there's lots of ways of doing it, but it really starts with audience and understanding their care about and what they do. And then having, I mean, having got the components identified in your strategy, what, what approach would you take to actually rolling those out would you is there a particular place you would start is there a, a you know good starting point yeah i think the the, the the good starting point is once you've worked out um for take the example of raising awareness um the big thing you need, need to do is uh work out what you're going to say um and that's about spending the time on developing i would say four or five really strong points of view that are maybe around your sector uh, around um, the kind of product or service that you're looking to provide and maybe some of the trends and issues within the sector and, and, and start to put together a point of view in each of those areas. And then they can be used to connect you with the external market. Um, and they can be used in lots of different ways. They can be used reactively to react to issues and trends. They can be used proactively in your own news or your thought leadership, or they can just be used to raise the profile of the company from a profile perspective when the time comes. So Louis, say that you suddenly weren't working at Chime anymore and you were about to start a startup, what would be your first steps? The thing I would want to get right straight away is, my, is where I'm going. Why do I exist in the market and what need am I fulfilling? Um, once I've worked that out, um, I can then start to develop stories, maybe five or six stories that provide me with a point of view on the world that is unique to me based on how we see the market. And that's a relatively cost-effective Thing to do very very quickly you can do that with a in a day with a senior PR person um, after that um, you can use a lot of tools online so um, there's a lot of free tools available whether it's Google Analytics whether it's social listening um, uh, um, tools um, whereby you can start to listen to the market and the people that you're trying to influence um, and marrying the two can be done very very cost effectively uh, via social media and going direct to people. It can, be, it can be just sending an email to someone or picking up the phone to say, hey, you're t I've, I've seen you talking about these things. Let's have a chat. I think we can help, um, which is kind of uh, 
all of those ways of, of, of doing business and communicating haven't changed. I think just the internet has made that um, a little bit more, there's a lot more channels and a lot, a lot of different ways of reaching people now. Louis, thank you very much. That was absolutely brilliant. And thanks very much for coming and talking to us at Startup Hub. Thank you for having me.